EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. Tonight, it's our first Monday night game of the new season, and we've got a good one coming up. Between the Houston Oilers taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. And we are underway here in Las Vegas. This drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Okay, Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's a carry for the fullback. This is Andy Janovich. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Second and six. Second and five. the ball downfield, picked it up on the ground. Yeah, offensive line, they're getting it done. First down, here's White. Almost to the 35 yard line. That will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. This time they'll throw it with Hal. They read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Now second and five. And Howe will throw it. Flushed out right. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. 
The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last laugh by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. And this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. Fourth down, and on comes the Raider kicker, Daniel Carlson. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. Carlson able to put this one through. Well, all offseason, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week one. They didn't get the touchdown, but at least they got something. And what I like about it is that they didn't overthink it. Because you're exactly right. A lot goes into the offseason, the preseason, to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield. Mission accomplished. Points on the board. And only able to get this to the 19, so it probably should have opted for the touchback. right here's Mitchell now to kick off the drive and he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage Calais Campbell on the stop early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position we know that securing the point of attack especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day has got to be priority one Second and ten. 14, 14. They go play action now. Jackson. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. The like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. I might have said this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. And the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 12 yards there as they move the chains. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because right. you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world, either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Well, CD, a lot of times, like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. He'll buy some time right. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports.
second and 11 at the 41. Yo, yo. Hey, hey, report. Report. Come on. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. A hit as he throws there. Incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. And a near sack. They got to him there just as he was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback. Because that was awfully close. side here with White. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. So from the 37, here's second and four. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. This second and four. They keep it on the ground, wide again. Inside the 15 before they drop it. 48 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. A first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and 10. Give up the middle. This is White. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady game. Ball at the six here as they work with a second and two. They run straight ahead here with White. He gets him a little bit closer, takes it from the six inside the five to the four. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Let's go now. Here's third and a few inches. Now they bring a receiver in motion right. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And the penetration too strong. He won't make it back to the line of scrimmage. Well, they tried to catch him by surprise, I think, there with that little pop pass on third down, but no luck. You're right about no luck, but I did like the idea. I like the thought process. Make an unconventional call on third down sometimes. It can pop big. In this case, it didn't. Ready up! 
The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll try and run the option. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And as a result, possession switches hands. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. They trail 3-0 after the INT last time led to a field goal, but now another fresh start here, first and 10. They'll start with a run by Mitchell. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Here's second and seven. They go play action with Jackson. This throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Report, report. First down, here's Mitchell. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped at the line, but his vision and his determination found some space to turn it into that modest gain. Jackson on second down. That's taken in by Duvernay. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Of course the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And in motion left, that's Collins. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, You've got to hit the jackpot there. It's a good position to be in here, second and inches. Man in motion left, that's Collins. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. On second down, here's Jackson. Underneath here to Hill. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Rock! 
Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Duvernay in motion. He'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. Second and five. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. On second down, Jackson. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Again, Jackson. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push-off. So since that last play got nothing, they'll go ahead and decline the penalty, and that forces a fourth down situation. Tucker's kick is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. And able to get this out to the 25. One last shot before the break. Howell is going to fire one deep over the middle. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. half very even I mean really in all facets this ball game tied Charles so as we start the third quarter curious to see what the second half brings us certainly am I'm with you on that one and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level they love to spin it to their teams hey we're starting a brand new shorter ball game it's all even let's go out and seize it this is ours the 23, second and eight. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. They snap it at one. Now it's Jackson. Seeing these defenses making up opportunistic plays to keep this one low score. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another Aaron throw as a result. So the failure to connect on second. 
second down. That leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw is Jackson. This one caught by his tight end Andrews. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They run over center with Mitchell. Six yards. And his guys have taken the lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point. And the lead is now 10 to 3. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. 36 yards on the play. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. Pal to the air on first and ten. And that is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Second and ten, third quarter of the season opener. Now how? Six yards there off the scramble, but it will still leave him with a third down. Oh, partner just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Here's Hal. And a dump off to White. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. They'll run for it. This is White. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. So the drive will continue after the conversion on fourth. They'll work from the 20 on first down. Powell. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Throwing here, Howell. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll be a loss of six yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long.
Powell out of the shotgun. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. The kick by Carlson is good. Response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Well, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here, right at the 30 yard line. offense already at the line set to get going their defense has done the job now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten they'll bring a receiver in motion right man in motion left that's Collins they'll start on the ground here on first down and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight second and two well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Now a second and two. Try a little trickery here on the end of the round. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, that play looks familiar because we saw them working on it in practice this week. And for a lineman trying to block on this play, they love when they get the defense moving in one direction. And when they try and change directions, it's a lot easier to pick them up and ward them off. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Try the right side with Mitchell. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Here's a second and five. And now Jackson will look to throw it. And that's dropped underneath to Mitchell. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. of the football. Now Jackson going to shift him around. Out of the gun now on third down. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. They're going to hurry back to the line now. To the ground here, Mitchell. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. 
If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Right back to Mitchell here. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I think there's a fatigue factor that's kicking in defensively. You know the will is still strong. But I think the offense is starting to bend it just a little bit, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. It's looked that way. We'll see if they can continue this already strong drive. Play action. It's Jackson. Well, their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and ten. In motion right, that's Collins. On second down, here's Mitchell. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. With the play clock getting closer to zero, John Harbaugh is going to call a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. And the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Jackson. Left side, that's caught by Mitchell. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you and make sure you don't give up enough space that they can make a move on you in the open field. Try as he might, he wasn't able to get to the first down marker. Excellent defense, good tackling. John Harbaugh going to roll the dice. They're going for it on fourth down. Jackson now. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it. This time doesn't work out. And this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And can they take advantage? Their defense got the fourth down stop, and now they're hoping to find the end zone. A field goal wouldn't be enough to erase this fourth quarter deficit. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. And how will throw it. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got to
got a man coming his way full steam and he broke that one up. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Back to throw. Howell. And that is incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Flowers going to go in motion right. They'll go with Hill here on first down. Robert Spillane able to bring him down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Handoff from Mitchell running left. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's our visitors with a football as we get you reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Jackson. He's got his man on the 10 yards. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. And he picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. A shotgun handoff to Mitchell. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. As they'll get with just under 90 seconds remaining. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. After that run, still a good amount of meat on the bone here for this third down play. Can you envision them putting this in the air? Totally. I mean, look at who he has under center right now. If you can't trust him with the football, you can't trust anyone. And frankly to me, I want the ball down the stretch. Get the first down. Keep it in the hands of my offense. I don't want to turn it over to them and rely on my D. Yeah. 
They'll see about converting this third and eight. Throwing now is Jackson. Stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. Tucker's kick is good. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13 to 6. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet. Okay, being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Seconds. Here's second and ten. Pal to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here. He throws it away. And now it's third. I see you nodding your head up and down. That's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage, and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away, live to fight another down. Interception. Yeah, that's kind of like the backyard. Everybody go deep and let's see if we can find someone. Four verticals in the route. Any other time of the game, I love the call. But here, you're not going to hold safety. You're not going to hold the corners with any looks because they know what the situation is. Ends up throwing the interception. He's able to force his way through one man, but he can muster only about a yard on the play. Second down. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you watch high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Well, partner, that'll do it. You know, these week one primetime games, they always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And, partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, get off to the start. Get off to a 1-0 start and get your season going. That could spark an excellent season for them. They've got that in their pocket now. So for Houston, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 as they win by a touchdown. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Las Vegas, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.